Bismillah. So we're starting today an explanation, a very concise explanation of the text, the three fundamental principles. قبل أن نبدأ بالدراسة نسأل أسئلة خمسة. Before we start, we're going to ask five questions. السؤال الأول. The first question. لماذا ندرس التوحيد؟ Why do we study Tawheed? لأن التوحيد هو حق الله على العباد على العبيد. Because the Tawheed is the right of Allah subhanahu wa taala upon His worshippers. خلقنا لنوحد الله. We have been created to establish Tawheed for Allah subhanahu wa taala. لا تقبل أي عبادة إلا بالتوحيد. No act of worship will be accepted except that is established upon Tawheed. لا يدخل الجنة إلا موحد. No one will enter Jannah except for a person of Tawheed. تكثير الحسنات. And this is an increase of good deeds. تكثير السيئات. And also an, a way to admonish evil actions. دعوة الأنبياء ورسل عليهم الصلاة والسلام. This is the propagation of the messengers and prophets. يسألك سائل. A person will ask you. هل أنت موحد? Are you a person of Tawheed? تقول نعم أنا موحد. Yes, I'm a person of Tawheed. يقول لك ما هو التوحيد? They ask you, okay, what is Tawheed? إذا عرفت التوحيد بما جاء به النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. So if you explain and define Tawheed as it has come by way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam This is the meaning that you are a person of Tawheed by the permission of Allah But if you say, Wallahi, I don't know what Tawheed is Then you are a liar by saying that you are a person of Tawheed Are you a person who associates partners with Allah? You say, you say I seek refuge from Allah, I'm not a mushrik what is shirk? تقول لا أدري. I don't know. نقول لعلك واقع في الشرك الأكبر أنت لا تدري. So perhaps you are falling into uh, a one of the major forms of shirk and you do not know. إذا أوجب الواجبات. Then the most obligatory matter upon you. وأول علم لا بد نتعلم. And, and the primary source of knowledge that you have to know. التوحيد. Is التوحيد. ولا بد أن نتعلم الشرك. And we have to also learn الشرك. حتى لا نقع فيه. So that we can avoid falling into it. والله أعلم.